Remember this? Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. America's next top hooker is Crystal! Oh my god, I'm so happy! I won and I'm being valued as a woman! Fuck you, bitches! It's back this season on CNT. 20 girls from across America compete for the title everyone wants. America's next top hooker returns. Yes, we make women parade in tiny clothes and pass judgments on them just like on the streets. This year, who will go away with the glory? Yo, bitch, you think you can do that for eight hours straight? Who has the endurance? I can't walk. The reality show that captured our hearts and gave us herpes last season is back. Grab my titties now. America's next top hooker. It's time to judge women again. Coming soon to CNT. You're a man, so the world is on your shoulders. Stress. Something genetic inside you wants to kill things and then mate with them. Hi, I'm Jeremy St. Ives. Maybe you know me from the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. I'm going to show all you men out there a calmer, more loving path. At Male Aromatherapy Incorporated, we have the scents that will help men relax and travel to their childhood. Inhale deep and revisit that first summer romance under the bleachers with the cheerleader. Or in a tent with your scoutmaster. Mix and match scents such as chamomile shower, jasmine, Spanish donkey, college pansies, tea tree tea bag, unspoken gay longing, mother's love, your aunt's breasts, and much, much more. Male Aromatherapy Incorporated. Inhale, exhale, repeat. You're metrosexual. And now a message from babiesovernight.com. Having a baby is easy as logging onto the internet. Pick your baby from hundreds online as you browse our baby creation facility. Maybe you'd like a strong, silent German baby. Or an adventurous Venezuelan baby. Or even a funny but militarily inept Australian baby. Satisfaction is guaranteed. If you're not completely happy, just wrap the baby in the plastic bag provided, place it in the box, and drop it off in your nearest river. Babiesovernight.com. Your new bundle of joy in a box overnight. Guaranteed. Dad! Dad, I hit a home run! Dad? Just a second. Dad! Look, can't you see I'm tapping out an email to work? But it's Saturday. All you care about is your email. That's why Mom is fucking your best friend. I said, I'm sending an email to work. Shut the fuck up! The Bittersweet Personal Email Device. Always on, never at home. Try the constantly connected, perpetually disconnected, at work 24-7 future of the Bittersweet. Be everywhere and nowhere with instant email. The Bittersweet. What are you doing on that PC, son? I'm spending days designing the sewer system for my virtual country. That sounds like an exciting and yet educational computer game. What's it called? It's called Civil Service. Then I'll set up the utilities prices. You can also make up zoning laws. Can you design traffic patterns to keep undesirables in the ghetto? Totally. With the Civil Computer game, you can anonymously segregate people and change voting districts to keep minorities down. Wow, your character is taking some virtual payola and seizing some people's homes under eminent domain. Don't worry. The virtual courts always come down on the side of big business and property. That's great. Just like the real Supreme Court. When does the game end? Never. I'm going to play till I die. Civil Service, the incredible bureaucratic simulation game. Now you can live the dream of being a real civil servant. Virtually. Available wherever games are sold. Do you ever wonder why you look a lot like your neighbor? Yes. Do you have strange feelings towards your mother or sister? Yeah. Do you feel disconnected from your father? <laughs> Don't look to therapists to explain what you already know. You're probably either adopted or the result of a fling at a 1970s car key party. Accept it. But how do you find out the truth? DNA. DNA never lies, except in a few rare sexual assault cases. Call Double Helix DNA Search today and find out who's really your daddy. Every 10 seconds, a woman in Liberty City experiences the unwanted advances of a man. By the time this commercial is over, six women will have been sexually harassed or groped. Three of those will have gone all the way. Sometimes we're asking for it. 
playing hard to get while secretly we're wet for you. But other times, you repulse us. Women may be the weaker sex, but now you can even the score with a gun. Thursday night is ladies night at the Liberty City Gun Club. Come down for the female safe in the city course and learn the fundamentals of self-defense, including reloading, aiming for the nuts, and how to garret him in his sleep. Ladies, fire off a few rounds in the indoor lounge while you enjoy free drinks. Free drinks. Plus, all self-defense products are on sale, like fake breasts, fake stomachs, and Kevlar tits that deflect bullets. That's right. When he tries to give you a pearl necklace, watch it ricochet and hit him in the eye. And when you come to Thursday Ladies Night at Liberty City Gun Club, show your pair and get a pair of free drinks. The Liberty City Gun Club. Liquor, guns, and fun. You won't believe what happens this season on Medicate Me. What starts out as a simple kid getting a splinter escalates into a full-scale terrorist attack on the city. Luckily, the doctors of St. Judas General Hospital are ready. Bob, you're drunk, and we've got to save some kids' lives. That's because I love you, Karen. That's original. I'm never going to win an Emmy if you don't start writing better scripts. In the next episode, a patient wakes up and discovers he's a polygamist. Oh, and Karen, I've got some serious news. You are eight months pregnant. Pregnant. But I'm gay. Exactly. Medicate me. Hospitals get real. This season, Jerry botches a home vasectomy. Carrie returns to the ER to meet the woman she killed three seasons ago. Jeremy comes back from Africa to discover he's wanted for murder. And lots of people die. Medicate me. It's a relaxing home entertainment drama for the whole family. Thursday nights at 9, 8 central on CCC. Art is being redefined. Critics are gushing. Bow is incredible. The exhibit now at the Nuka Museum. From the Orient, see the works of Bao, the incredible Chinese artist who paints with pandas by singing, screaming, cajoling, and begging the pandas. He makes them do the painting for him. It's sort of like an incredible exploration of what happens when Dada meets Dodo. My favorite part of the exhibit was when the pandas threw their feces at him and then he rolled around on a canvas. That's art. See the exhibit critics say is unbelievable. An inspirational treasure. Bow. The exhibit now at the Nuka Museum. Hi, I'm Dr. Steven Von Singer. Now, when my little girl was born, I was more than a little upset. For one, I wanted a pretty child. And secondly, I didn't want her to inherit her mother's looks. After divorcing her mom and disowning her, I've dedicated years of my life to ensure others don't experience this terrible pain of random DNA sequencing. With my subsequent children, each has been perfectly suited to complement and work within my family unit, genetically refined so that my family is perfect, just like in the movies. And now, for the right price, you can too. Dr. Steven Von Singer and his team here at EII have turned a baby from a nasty surprise into a perfect gift. Don't take the chance of having an imperfect baby and being forced to drown it in the bathtub. Choose life, perfectly designed, made for you by science. Visit us on the web at eugenicsincorporated.com and start designing your perfect baby today. Star Junction is full of music. Come see the musical the critics are baffled at. Swinging Puppets. I'm so tired of his tiny puppet junk. I need a real man to fill me full of gunk. Oh! Swinging Puppets is amazing children with a tale of how hard it is to sing in tune and keep on smiling when you've got strings around your wrists or a creepy man's fist up your ass. Swinging Puppets at the Magic Curtain Theater. Uh-oh, here comes Michael Graves with more of his negative attack ads. But let's stick to the facts and move past these pathetic politics of division and swift boating. Fact, Michael Graves spent taxpayer money on a vacation home in the Philippines where young boys speak in lisps and don't wear pants. Michael Graves says he supports family values, but his wife is a harlot and has aborted five children. Maybe Michael Graves has forgotten the tragic events a few years ago. But we haven't. He wants to end the war on terror and make America and your children vulnerable to terrorists, much like those little boys are vulnerable to him. You have a choice come Election Day. Choose freedom for your state. Vote John Hunter for governor. The future depends on you making the right decision. 